This is a fable by Marie de France. And um, the fables always have a moral at the end. I think the moral is rather obvious sometimes in these fables. And so I will just give it to you in the original French, because you're all smart enough, you'll, you'll get the moral without me saying it in English. This is The Frogs Who Asked for a King. Once on the banks of a great tank that was both rank and very dank, there lived great frog confederations. They had been there for generations. They hated staying in the pond and wished to move to drier ground. So they cried out to destiny. Repeatedly they made their plea that she would send to them a king. They needed not another thing. When many times they had prayed, then destiny to them conveyed, right in the pond, a sturdy log, which caused great fear in every frog. The frog, close by the log, observed, since it had come, it had not stirred. He to his friends a summons croaked. Together they the log approached. They greeted it as their king royal, and each one promised to be loyal. The frogs all thought of it as lord. Thus it was honored and adored. But when the log stayed motionless, they saw that it was fixed in place. Lying so still there in the water, they climbed upon it all together. Such dirty deeds then did each frog that to the depths they sunk that log. <laughs> they then to destiny went back and begged a king. They felt the lack. The one she had given them was bad. So destiny then sent that crowd an adder, powerful and great. Death to the frogs it seized and ate. Those all left were all in great distress. They cried out with much bitterness for mercy now from destiny to rid them of their enemy. Responding, destiny avowed, oh no, oh no, you've been allowed all the things that you desired. A lord good-natured you'd acquired. You shamed churlishly that senor, and now you have what you asked for. Ici a bien plus sûrs les fonds. De bon seigneur, quant le l'aurais regrettent le bon seigneur, à qui elle firent la descente. 